some other target practices thing, uh, target practices you can do at home is you cannot see this on the camera unfortunately but I have created like a target using chalk I've only got a very light coloured chalk so it's hard for you to see um, I've given myself two circles if I get it with, between the inner and the out I'm going to give myself 10 points if I get it right in the bullseye I'm going to give myself 20 points you can do whatever point system you want um, and then all I'm going to do is just practice those different types of bowls boom 10 points um, straight off, oh, got, I've got the bullseye then. Do you know what I'm not going to do anymore because you always leave it on a good one. But that is one thing you can do. You could have, if you've got a washing line and you've got a t-shirt, you could be bowling and that will be good because it will stop the ball going and flying off into other directions. Many things you can do. We're fortunate that Jess has got a hoop, a hula hoop at home. Okay, so put the hula hoop out Jess. And I'm just going to practice bowling through the hoop. Okay, so I'll do one more there just to show and I can practice the different types of ones to whoop, really test my skills, hit the rim there. So I'm giving myself instant feedback that I didn't get the accuracy that I needed. Okay, so um, something that I want you to think about when you are bowling, if you have got a few people at home that can um, help you out, it's a really good idea to put a pretend batter in who today, because we conveniently, we just do not have around us um, bat at home, we're using a little mini hammer, okay, um, careful there Seb, and then we've got what is going to be our backstop. Now the tip is, the backstop um, basically are your eyes for your bowling. You're not actually bowling just to the bat, in an ideal world you're bowling through the bat to your backstop's hands. So if your backstop can line their hands up appropriately behind the bat, all you're effectively doing is throwing through to your backstop. That will also help you avoid getting a no ball low because hopefully the ball will come through the body and not drop at the batting line short and below the knees like I said earlier. Also, it should stop the ball going to the body, which would be a no ball body, and wide, no ball wide. So your backstop has a very, very, very important tactical job to make sure that they are your eyes. So let's have a little look. Seb, imagining you're batting. Okay, so stand sideways on if you can. Good boy. Right, Jess, if you could, if you could put your hands out behind the bat. Now, Jess is being a little mini PE teacher here and trying to tell her brother he should have the bat with one hand, but he's four years old. We're not gonna worry about that right now. He's not actually gonna hit it. Okay, so all I'm doing, Jess, is I'm gonna ask you to get your feet shoulder width apart. Okay, bend down nice and low, good. And I'm gonna bowl through to your hands. I just want you to try and catch it. Now, what I would recommend here is don't start with the big eight step distance. Start a bit closer. Ready, looking at me, and throw. Lovely catch, and back. And then as you get more and more competent, you can take a step back further in. And lucky Jess, go get it. But like I said, Jess, could you do me a favor here? Whoa. Could you stand really wide so you're not lined up behind Seb's bat, hammer, okay? If I was doing this and I was, and I was trusting my backstop and I was bowling to her hands, ready? The umpire immediately would have shouted, no ball wide. And as I said earlier, two no balls equals half a rounder. So we want to avoid that. Okay, so um, if you've managed to acquire all these skills, um, um, and you're looking to develop yourself that little bit further, one thing you can do is try and mix up those types of bowls um, and do combinations. So keep the safety bowl as your safety bowl because we want to use that to avoid our, our half rounders being given away. But things like the donkey drop, you could put spin to that, or the speed bowl, you could put spin to that or the low to high, you could put speed and spin to it. So you could really just totally play around with all those types of bowls and, and just get a little bit more technically advanced. Okay, so the very, very, very last thing, and I promise you this is the last thing that I just want to talk to you about, is a couple of extra rules we've not discussed in this video um, and in terms of the bowler. When they're in their bowling square and they have the ball, the batter is not allowed to advance uh, past the next post. So if they've already left first and they're running towards second, you've got the ball, they have to stay at second, okay? So that's one of the rules. Um, the other rule, which people don't realize, is if I was to bowl and I bowled a no ball, 
I could at that point switch out with another fielder and they could come in and carry on bowling, but they take on the noble that I've already um, um, caused. So they would only get one more chance. If they did a noble, it would then equal half a rounder. So anyway, I hope you have lots of fun practicing these skills at home. Um, stay tuned because there'll be lots more videos on rounders. Um, and yeah, have fun.